Okay, so I am down in the basement. Just taking a look at everybody. Look how pretty this is. This is purple. Purple flash. Oh my gosh. But they're flowering. Oh my gosh. I'm like picking the flowers. There's a bunch of them that are flowering. Like, look at this blue Christmas. Uh, yeah, this is blue Christmas. Look at all the flowers. And the little, oh no. See all those little nubs? Those are all tiny little peppers. Like I'm gonna have to pick all those off. Oh golly. Some of these are so, so pretty. They want out <laughs> next weekend. I think our last frost, well, I don't even think we're getting another frost, but our low temperature is 36 tonight and 37 tomorrow. And then I think we're out of the woods. I think we're going to be in the 40s. And just, I've never had my peppers do so good. Let me look at, look at this overachiever. Oh, and again, flowers. Crap. Like, no, guys. No. <laughs> uh, it's not good. There's another one. Oh, man. Oh, shoot. And then, like, these, like, <laughs> I, they need to be taken out from underneath these lights. It's funny because some do really well with the amount of fertilizer. Like most do really well with the fertilizer. And then you get like certain ones that are like, no, too much. And they get like kind of curled and shriveled. <sighs> but as you can see, if you look at my sticky strips, look at all those little aphids. And I just put these up like two weeks ago. So that's my trick to not having an issue. Um, there's sticky strips. There's sticky strips everywhere. There's another one. There's another one. But I was down here just, you know, setting eyes on everyone. As you can see, I'm running out of room. And there's like, <laughs> everybody wants outside. They're everywhere. Plants are everywhere. But... I just come down and I check them out. Oh goodness, everybody. Look how good those peppers look. I could not ask for better looking peppers. Um, yeah, these need in the ground. But, I mean, for the most part, everybody's looking pretty decent. I still have some stuff that I recently sewed that I need to up pot, like... Um, Big Ben, somebody sent me some Big Ben, and then I started some new peppers, yellow fish. Um, so there's, uh, just some stuff that I re that still hasn't germinated. I just keep trying. Um, these need a potted. So, I think I'm going to take, and then these are ones that I started even a week later, peppers and such, that are just now popping up. And then my basils, these, especially this variety. Oh my golly, do you look at, can you see that? This is a rat, arrow rat. Basil is so pretty. And then this is red lettuce leafed. Look how pretty that is. Red ruffles. Oh. And I just started a whole nother flat of basils. Where are those? Where are those? Um, so I started all of my, like, summer squash. I didn't do a live, like I said I was going to do. I suck. But I just got up, I think it was two mornings ago. Was it Thursday morning? Friday morning? And, let me see. Uh, yeah, everybody's good with water. That's how I tell if stuff needs water. I just... Pick it up. And then sometimes I'll spritz the top just to make sure the top stays moist. But if you pick it up, you can feel the weight. When it starts to feel dry, it gets lighter. So just learn learn what a soaked pot of 
soil feels like. But this is all the basils. Globe basil, holy basil, mirani. So this should be popping up here next weekend. And then there's a couple more of the... Um, I think I did like sunflowers and... Oh, something's already popping up. What is that overachiever down here? Oh, Cosmos. <laughs> Candy cane striped or candy striped cosmos. They're already popping up. Hello, little guys. <laughs> oh, so cool. I love when you first catch them peeping out. Oh, this one's oh, red cheese. I really wanted to see some red cheese peppers, but maybe not. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over this basil. So I think I need to take this tray up. I can let these go a little longer before I pot those. Um, and I need to take this, well, yeah, this tray. I'll take this tray up. Um, Look at that pepper back there. Just, they're just doing so cool. So well, I'm, I'm super excited. Those are ones that are already up potted. Um, a few in the back there. So they're single. Only one in a pot. But then I just filled this tray up with others. Um, what happened to you, little guy? You're losing your leaves. Oh, no. Uh, I don't know. What's it? So maybe he's too moist. Maybe the soil's too moist. So, yeah. Still some up potting to do. But those are the only few trays that I'll be up potting. I don't know if I'll go live with that or not, but I definitely need to separate these basils because my goodness, I've got to give some people some of those basils. Yeah, so I'm thinking this this weekend, I'm just gonna, I'm starting to plant the peppers and the tomatoes and just Hope and pray <laughs> they get established before it gets cold again. Because once you get them in the ground, when they're kind of struggling because of, like, I don't know. I'm not perfect, and I don't have any, like, set fertilizing method. I'm still, you know, learning. Oh, these lettuces need to be planted. I'm going to take those. Um... I harvested my last from that yesterday, so that's why it looks all scraggly. I had one of my cucumbers succumb to, it looks like the, um, kind of looks like a, I don't know if it's aphid damage or flea beetles, but those two are doing good. Um, I'm going to be setting, I'm going to be setting a lot of this stuff outside here soon, so. There you go, guys, that is the mess that is my basement. Hey, Roro. I mean, what are you doing? Yeah. You keep a watch over everything? Such a good girl. You don't ever mess with mama's stuff. You pity baby.